and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. There's a lot of things I found very surprising becoming an MP. I don't think I'll ever find it normal being called mom or having doors open for me. But some of it is unnerving as well. Before I was elected, I didn't know big businesses sent gifts to MPs. Gifts that always seem to be accompanied by requests. The other week, Heathrow sent me a food hamper along with an ask. They wanted me to support their third runway, as if some shortbread biscuits would drown out the warnings of the climate emergency. Google recently sent me a gift as well. It wasn't much, but it got me thinking about corporate lobbying. It reminded me that in 2018, Google avoided £1.5 billion in tax, according to the Tax Justice Network, and that in 2016, Google reached a deal with the government after dozens of meetings with ministers to secure an, effect, an effective tax rate of just 3% on profits estimated to be more than £7 billion. Now, I might have missed it, but I don't think doctors or nurses, factory workers or cleaners in Coventry South were offered private meetings with ministers to create tailor-made tailor sweetheart packages to reduce their taxes. But this is a premium service that's given to big business. And so it often seems to be one rule for billionaires and big business and another rule for everyone else. Madam Deputy Speaker, I think the whole web of dinners, gifts, receptions and donations has something to do with that. Because the super rich don't spend their money on MPs out of generosity and out of the goodness of their hearts. They want something in return. And let's be honest, this wealth is used to buy influence in this house, to get this place to serve their interests and not the interests of our constituents. And Madam Deputy Speaker, under the Conservatives, to me, it looks like their investment is paying off. Because by the end of this Parliament, the government is on course to have handed out almost £100 billion in tax breaks and corporate giveaways. 